So in this app, uh, you're being asked to design an app for a fitness challenge. Uh, your client wants a way to promote fitness in the community. Uh, your app needs to have both static and dynamic lists uh, and to be helpful for the individual to track uh, their activity for a given week. You must include some type of spinner for the days of the week. You must allow them to enter the days or the data for that particular day in a spinner. Uh, for each day the user selects, the user can select a physical activity they completed and have that information stored. How many minutes they were on that activity, they're going to be able to calculate the total number of active minutes for the week, calculate the display for the average number of minutes for the week, and display all the different activities that they had. Um, there's a, lots of additional things that you can add on to make this a little bit more user friendly, um, such as including pictures or videos of the exercise, um, and really anything that you can think of that you, uh, somebody would want in a fitness app. And you can uh, feel free to go through that or even have things stored over multiple sessions. So we can see I have this demo app created over here for us. So I can type in Bob. Bob is 92, and I can submit that uh, on Sunday. Let's say, let's change it. Let's say on Monday, he did some arm circles, and he did this at 3, uh, and we added that de uh, data. Now, we can show that data and we can see that he did arm circles Monday uh, for three minutes. We can see the total amount of active time is three minutes and the amount of uh, active minutes for the week is also three. So if I came here and did Wednesday and let's say he did some ab twists and we're adding that data, we can then show that data and on the MLA this is a little hard but you can see it down here now for the ab twists. And we have an average of uh, six minutes of activity, uh, total activity. Now we can click on the show data button, or I mean on the clear data button and it removes it. If we click on the activity list, it'll show us all the different activities that are available on here. And if we view the list uh, for this, uh, as well. So uh, it takes us to a separate page uh, or separate screen on this, which shows us everything that is on there. And again, as I come back to the emulator, uh, again, it's not really displayed well in the emulator, but we can see that it takes us to a separate page. And then we could click on these buttons for more information about that. Uh, so this is the basis of the demo that I'll go through the coding on this. And as we can see, that's beginning to load now. Uh, the emulator's a little behind. Uh, you're gonna need to come up with a theme or an idea behind your fitness app and make it your own uh, with your own features and really look at the design brief on this and see what you have to include and maybe some other things that you would like to include as well.